So I have here my trusty little ultrasonic cleaner. It's, it's quite small and intended for jewellery, but I do all manner of um, cleaning in it, including my glasses. Uh, I bought it from a car boot sale a number of years ago for the grand total of uh, two pounds. And then um, oh, a few days ago, I, um, I used it two or three times in a day for cleaning um, some, if I lean over and get them, some stencils uh, for surface mount uh, components and I found the only way of getting these completely clear through all the little holes, these are quite regular patterns, um, is to put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and then it gets right into the little corners of all these little miniature holes in the stainless um, stencil and I used it several times in the day and on the last time I went to use it there was a bit of a crack and it stopped working. I mean, not totally, the um, the display worked. Uh, and it, you could select and turn it on and off. And when you turned it on and off, all I heard was a relay operating, which um, uh, isn't the normal operation, because you, can, you can't hear the ultrasonic frequency, but you can hear it buzzing. Um, so uh, when I took it apart, just before throwing it in the bin, um, I opened opened the case and found the whole of the inside was covered in very very heavy condensation so some water had got in through some somewhere and it had condensated and, and then basically everything was slightly damp um, and when I went looking I don't know if it's gonna show up If I hold that up and see if it focuses, you can see around certain components like here, there's there's a white um, sort of tide line around there, and then around this place in particular, that there was a bit of a tide line, and then on outputs here, there was um, there was kind of rust and corrosion, and this is the main wire out to the. Um, the piezo element, which I believe is reasonably high voltage, certainly high frequency, um, and and it wasn't. And there was a bit of rust around this this little diode here. Um, so it had been wet, and I think in the past, whatever was leaking, or whether it was a splash or just a tiny bit of moisture, in between days or weeks of use, has it been evaporating? But because I used it several times in a day, it didn't have time to do that, um, and. Failed to work, and I was going to throw it straight in the bin. I thought, oh no, hang on a minute. This is not as complicated as as it looks, as it seems. Firstly, there's not many um, ICs on it, so 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 most of the components on the board are passive, which means there's not a lot to go wrong with them. So I started looking, and then up here on the main power input. Um, is, is this I think three watt resistor and as you can see the side of it's burst off and um, when I uh, tested it on the multimeter it's open circuit and as it's uh, brown black gold gold it's one zero uh, and then a divider or, or no zeros and, and then the tolerance so it's 10 ohms which is an in, an in, in rush limiting or certainly probably a fusible resistor uh, I replaced it with four 3.9 ohm resistors in uh, parallel as as a, a diagnostic, and that instantly blew, which meant there was something wrong with it. And I thought, well, can I be asked to reverse engineer and repair a circuit like this? And um, I, I looked at it over a, a can of beer one evening, and I thought, well, actually, it's, it's not that complicated. Um, I'm not going to get a complete circuit diagram out of this, but I thought, well, the mains comes in at this corner, uh, goes in through a, a capacitor, then there's a common mode um, inductor, then another capacitor, then a common mode inductor, then a bridge rectifier made of individual diodes, and a storage tank capacitor, a storage capacitor. Um, there's then this limiting resistor, that then 
is switch the main power into this area um, through a relay, which is what I can hear clicking. Um, this area is another bridge rectifier, and then and then there's some components here that I think I mean I, I've not looked at it in, in any huge detail. I think form a low voltage supply for powering the display and the timer, which leaves the only complicated part is this area here, which is the oscillator for the piezoelectric um, um, piezoelectric transducer. That's the word I was looking for. And I thought, well, if the input limiting re resistor has blown, then maybe part of the power output stage has blown, and it had two two MOSFETs. Taken one out. Um, two MOSFETs. MOSFET driver. Um, obviously, some biasing or frequency adjust, and maybe some feedback. Um, and a quick multimeter test showed that this MOSFET has uh, failed to short circuit. Uh, I've, I've rubbed it off now because I wasn't planning on doing a, uh, any kind of video, uh, and then but around the legs of it there was there was corrosion and a tide line from moisture being on it, and obviously some high voltage, high frequency stuff going on, um, which made me think I'll put the meter on there and just check the resistance between all three pins, and it, it showed quite clearly it's failed, and th and then after removing it, there's. Um, there's some resistance between the gate and source and drain, which means it's, it's completely, completely destroyed. So I thought, well, for it, I, I know you can buy these for 20, 25 pounds, but I thought, well, you know, let's, let's try and mend it. So I bought two new MOSFETs because experience tells me if you have a bank of MOSFETs and you stress or break one of them, then the others are damaged. Um, and they look okay until you load them up and then they fail later. So experience has told me if you're replacing any match pair or balanced or failed MOSFETs, replace them all. Um, because there was uh, some sort of uh, resistance or current flow between the gate source, so, sorry, the source drain, um, the gate and, and the drain and the source, then that could have backfed into the driver chip. So I'm going to replace the driver chip um, and obviously the input limiting resistor. Um, um, and I'm going to just replace them and see if it works. And if that if that's not fixed it or it goes bang again, then um, I will just bin it. So um, that's the task of the day. Um, and I shall. Uh, pause to do that because desoldering and soldering stuff up, especially when it's attached to um, a large device, is, is quite quite fiddly and probably painful to watch. So what I'm going to do is desolder these three components and the limiting resistor, and then come back when it's done and um, check that the pits I ordered have all. All arrived rather than in two packages so I'll see you in a moment so that took slightly longer than expected I have replaced the input limiting resistor or fusible resistor depending on what it is the two power MOSFETs the power MOSFET driver and I also found out that even though it didn't blow initially when it failed when I tried to rebuild it with the rather comical um, 1 ohm 3 watt resistor that I made out of four 3.9 ohm resistors um, caused the input fuse to blow which was a fast acting or it had an F on it uh, 2 amp fuse which luckily I had some spare so I soldered one of those in um, and then I'm going to uh, try it but I can't because it but it's possibly destined for the bin. I'm not going to bother screwing the case shut until I know it works. So I'm just going to test it on the bench. So the idea is to put the power on it, make sure nothing goes bang, check the display works. Then when the display works, put some water in it and then see if it will fire up. So firstly, so I can watch things explode and get component shrapnel in my eyes. I shall plug it in. 
um, with the cover off. Which seems to have gone quite well. So I'll put that under there to keep it safe. The display is working, so I know the little <coughs> controller -y bit in there is working. I shall apply some water. Um, and push on. And it works. What do you know? I don't know why, but that seems slightly more ferocious than um, than when it uh, was in its original state. But I'll call the a fix, so I'll be able to put put the case on it uh, without worrying. I'm wasting my time, and then put it back into service. <laughs> 